Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here. It is Thursday the 2nd of August. Thanks again for watching. Uh, thanks for coming along and for telling your friends about the site too. Um, loads of people following on Twitter and Facebook now. Um, and also every time you come to the site, it's you that keeps it free of charge because we can put more adverts in front of you. When you click on adverts, it generates more revenue. Uh, but when you see adverts, it generates revenue as well. So thank you very much for doing that, for using the charts and for vi using the videos as well. Um, now today, I just want to kick off with... Um, this chart for London, this is the ensemble prediction for London, uh, taking us through to the end of the 17th of August. And notice how the temperatures here, the red lines, stay pretty stable around 21, 22 degrees. But it's this here I want to show you. These green bars are rainfall. Now notice how we're quite unsettled right the way through until about 12 or 13. But then look, the rainfall figures drop off. And those of you who've been watching over the last few weeks and well, month or so, you'll know that I've been predicting that the middle part of August onwards looked as if it was going to settle down that was where the atmosphere was shaping up and models are now starting to give some sort of credence to that idea how we get there is another matter because some models going for low pressure through the through next weekend this is the weekend after next some models are going for high pressure building in at the end of the week so how we get there is, is a little bit up in the air, if you excuse the pun right now. Um, I actually think we're going to go more and settle towards next weekend before we then settle off after that. I'll try and give you some more information as we progress uh, through the video and also through the course of the week. Now, um, what do I want to show you first of all? OK, here we go. These are the charts for today. Low pressure off towards the west of Ireland there, and that's dominating things just at the moment. Now, we're going to find some heavy showers breaking out across the Midlands, southern England, and also southern parts of Wales, parts of eastern England too during the course of this afternoon. But across uh, southeast England, you can see here, we're staying generally dry. Brighter weather also following into western Scotland, to the west of Wales, where there's been some heavy showers this morning, and into western parts of southwest England. Scattered showers across Ireland. Now, through tonight, most of the showers will be fading away, and it should become largely dry during the course of the night. However, by the morning, we'll find some heavier showers returning to southern Ireland, where it'll be windy too. Also, this area of heavy showers look affecting the south coast of England, and then through tomorrow morning, that area of showers crosses into southeastern parts of England. Now, for most of England, Wales and Scotland, the morning should be bright, it should be generally dry. Just an odd scattered shower forming here and there. But you can see this line of cloud here, look, affecting eastern parts of Ireland, the far southwest of Wales, stretching down into the Atlantic. This is a period of heavier showers, and I think through the course of the afternoon, that will slip its way eastwards to be affecting the west of Wales and possibly southwestern England. Elsewhere across the country, it's generally sunny spells and just isolated showers. Many areas do look as if they're going to be staying dry and should have quite a fair afternoon away from those showers out towards the west. Overnight to Saturday, things become largely dry across much of the country. Although, as you saw there, there is the threat of some heavy showers affecting, again, western Wales and southwestern parts of England. One or two scattered showers for northern Scotland, but generally for most of us, it looks like being dry with some clear spells. Now, into Saturday morning, well, low pressure's off the south of Ireland. That really holds the key here, because with low pressure there, it means that we are going to be widely unstable. That means that showers can get going quite quickly during the course of the day, and uh, you'll see from the next chart that it looks as if those showers are going to become quite heavy and fairly widespread, particularly across Wales, northern England, and southern Scotland, as well as southern Ireland. The Midlands also at risk of some very heavy showers during the course of Saturday afternoon. Less showers across the uh, southern parts of England though, I think here we'll find some good sunny spells, and less showers for the north of Scotland too. It really is going to be this sort of area here that sees the worst of the showers on Saturday afternoon, some torrential downpours possible. Overnight into Sunday, the showers will still be around and they may well fall into a front across northern England down through western parts of Wales where we could just find frequent showers breaking out. Low pressure is still there, look. Quite a bright start to Sunday morning elsewhere, but I think it won't be long before the showers get going on Sunday morning. And then we'll probably find that Sunday itself is quite a showery day again, particularly for northern England, for Wales, for the western Midlands and southwest England. Just scattered showers for East Anglia, eastern parts of uh, the Midlands and southern England, and one or two scattered showers in the far north of Scotland too. An odd scattered shower across Ireland. Heading into Monday now, and again we've got low pressure close by. It's clearing eastwards there. The wind's going to the northwest, and that means that most of the showers are along these eastern coasts of England. I think further west and south, the showers tend to be more scattered, most of them again on western coasts and hills. Now, heading into Tuesday, we find the area of low pressure clear away. We're then in a col, and that means that we've got low pressure to the east and to the west, high pressure to the north, 
high pressure to the south and we're in between these two systems so i think we're going to be seeing sunny spells i think there could be one or two showers breaking out but really many areas are going to be dry with some good spells of sunshine through tuesday although notice this area of rain that gets into southern ireland during the afternoon now that area of rain then spreading its way eastwards and northwards as we head into wednesday and um, there could be some pretty hefty bursts of rain going across wales southwest england and northern ireland as we head into the day on wednesday low pressure look down here towards the south that's what's driving this area of rain northeastwards but you'll notice the far southeast there staying dry once again and it looks as if that area of low pressure really is the dominant feature by the end of next week and it's now really that we get the big question mark as to exactly what happens some models develop this area of low pressure and bring it across the country and that really is the way that i think this may well develop you'll see what i mean from the ecmwf this is the chart from midnight last night and if we just go forward in 24 hour steps you'll be able to see more easily what i mean let's get it to the 8th of august look there's an area of low pressure going through the uk and here we are with them um, getting towards next wednesday this is the low we've just seen on the gfs now that low is looking as if it develops and moves eastwards through the course of next weekend which brings some unsettled conditions into next weekend now before we get there so there we are that's the 12th so before we get there high pressure looks as if it takes over for a time at the end of next week now that would mean that probably Thursday and Friday are likely to be dry days for most although the southwest of England southern Ireland may sustain rain but for most of the rest of the country Thursday and Friday look as if they could be dry days the breakdown comes through late Friday and then into the weekend when we see this area of low pressure sweep its way eastwards along with the trough and it's this setup here that brings us unsettled conditions I think until about the 13th 14th or 15th then we see the ridge of high pressure that's in the western Atlantic this one here starting to build through and um, just another chart that I wanted to to point out to you just before you finish here which is the um, CFS forecast you can get these by going to weather charts at the top of the page click on CFS and then come down and click on the city temperature forecast and this is the temperature forecast for Birmingham now what I want you to notice here are the dates across the bottom look and the red lines now look what happens temperatures pretty stable through until about the 15th then temperatures begin to rise through August and and yeah it's predicting a bit of a heat wave at the end of the month we'll believe it when we see it but the pattern to take from this is that the CFS also sees this rising temperatures during this during the next couple of weeks now that's probably going to be from about the 15th onwards that's where I think this goes so I'm building this picture that we're unsettled to the back end of next week. We then get a couple of fine days probably as a ridge of high pressure builds in, but then we collapse into low pressure next weekend into the early part of the week after next. But by the 15th, we're looking for things settling down, things becoming a little bit warmer. Having said that, I think there will be rain through Scotland, but I think through England, Wales and southern parts of Ireland, we should find drier conditions and warmer conditions too. Although not hot, I stress, not hot, temperatures slightly above normal for the time of year 22 23 degrees so hopefully that's been uh, useful for you again so much information to cram to these videos at the moment because i know so many of you are using them for very many different purposes um, but hopefully that's been useful for you and thanks again for watching and please do spread the word keep the sun shining and bye for now